This week on Americana Outdoors, we're bringing you exclusive coverage of two renowned tournaments, the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's 2019 National Team Championship and the Bass Pro Shops 2019 U.S. Open Bow Fishing Championship. Let's kick things off at Sault Ste. Marie with coverage of the three-day National Team Championship. Sault Ste. Marie has hosted the NTC back in 2013 when Wayne Van Dyke and Eric Carlson took the championship. This year, Sault Ste. Marie has pulled out all the stops and hosted it again. And we can't wait to see what the anglers bring to the stage. We know it's a little cooler now than it has been in years past that we've been here to compete, but the anglers are still finding fish in some unique places. Anglers will get a chance to explore Sault Ste. Marie as they're here for this weekend. And the fact that it's Michigan's oldest city is just a really unique aspect of being here. And of course, you've got the beautiful sights like the ships coming in and uh, the museums and the downtown is beautiful too. The format for this event is six fish in the live well and bring your best five fish to the stage. And the anglers will be on the lookout for fish 15 inches and over. 177 teams will be out on the water for the first two days, and by the third day, the competition will be cut down to only 25 teams competing for what the tournament likes to call the 25 All-American. The first place team will receive $25,000 in cash, plus a brand new Ranger 620. On top of that, we have another Ranger 620 awaiting the top Ranger Cup qualified team. The total cash purse for this event will be over $260,000. That's a 500% payback for these anglers on their registration fee. Let's get right to the action and join our competitors out in the water. Get them. Oh, we needed that one. Good job. It's number five. That helped us a lot. Now we got five over 19. We got a 25, a 23, a 22, and 219. So should get us where we need to be. That's what we're looking for. Probably a 21, I'm guessing. We need three more like that or bigger. We're just trying to pick off as many as we can while they're in there feeding and who knows where they go after that. That is the puzzle. Look at the color of that one. Woohoo! All you. Get them. That's, nice. that's a good one. Yeah, ain't bad. Woo! Good job. Good job. There we go. Not your typical common on walleye, but we'll take it. Get him. Got him. Yeah. Good, good job, one. Josh. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. It's a good number five. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Woo! Nice. You win or lose up here, it's, uh, it's first place or last place usually. We had a good day yesterday, we were kind of blessed. We still got roughly an hour left before we have to get her, so hopefully we can pick up a couple more and at least scratch a limit and keep us in the hunt.
first two days of Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship are officially a wrap, and we're at the scales for weigh-in. Rounding out the top three are Jason Doyen and Shane Turcott, with a two-day total of 37 pounds, 13 ounces. Matt Gregg and Dane Stanaway made an astounding leap from 99th place on day one into second place at the end of day two, with a total weight of 38 pounds, 9 ounces. So far, Josh Gordon and Justin Champagne have maintained a strong lead with an impressive two-day total of 60 pounds, 9 ounces. I thought that would have took three days to get 60 pounds, so I'm super, super happy with the bites that we got. We're only getting like six bites a day, but we can put them in the boat every time. And obviously we are. That's awesome. We're just going to bring it in tomorrow. We got the confidence. Um, we feel good at it. Obviously, we're on the the good fish, so we we just need some confidence there, and we, we picked it up today. Here's a look at the top 25 teams who'll be competing in the last leg of the tournament on day three. When we come back, we'll dive right into day three action and find out which team will be crowned the 2019 Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship winners. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, so far we've seen two action-packed days of walleye fishing here in Sault Ste. Marie. To kick things off for day three, we're joining the current leaders, Josh Gordon and Justin Champagne on the water. We made it through the locks a little earlier. Uh, weather conditions were really good for running. We made a quick run over here. And uh, our first pass, we, we caught a small fish, probably about 20 inches. On our second pass, uh, had a double and, and landed one, one out of two. We need to get to that uh, 15 to 20 pounds to have a comfortable lead going in for day three because you just never know um, what kind of fish can be caught up here. The second place team can, uh, can pull a 35 or 38 pound bag. It's possible to do here. On this final day of fishing, the fish have turned the tables on the anglers and catches are few and far between. But that's not discouraging our competitors past couple days there's been a small uh, bite that opens up in the afternoon so hopefully we're here for that and can get another another fish we only have the two in the boat right now and one or two more fish will go a long ways to to help us out and make sure we can stay on top let's check in with the current second place team and see if their stretch of water is yielding better results we got here we got the first pass on the spot and we banged two right away and we haven't caught a fish now in about two and a half hours. So a lot's going through our mind right now, but uh, in the back of it, it's saying stay put and hope for a bite window. Fish. It's a bass. Mm, I don't think so. It is a bass. That's a heartbreaker. Heck of a smallie though. Wrong species. After another rigorous day on the water, the 2019 NTC is a wrap, and it's time to head to the scales for the final weigh-in. Many of our teams are returning with five fish limits and finishing with impressive totals. Current tournament leaders Josh and Justin are on stage looking to finish strong. You guys predicted just about this exact weight. They put 13 pounds, 10 ounces on the scale for 74 pounds, three ounces. With everyone on the edge of their seats, day two's second place team, Matt Gregg and Dane Stanaway are last to weigh in. They need 35 pounds and 10 ounces. 12 pounds, 13 ounces, great job guys. Dane, Matt, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Bass Pro Shops Cabela's National Team Champions! On top of their $25,000 cash prize, both teammates received brand new Ranger 620s for being Ranger Cup qualified, totaling $165,000 in cash and prizes. This whole week's just been awesome uh, to fish the NTC for the first time um, and, and the Suez is a tough fishery yeah. and to do as well as we did. I don't even know what to say, words can't even describe to win two Ranger boats, uh, to win an NTC. 
just unbelievable. First day was a, a lull, I would say. We, uh, we caught one fish that we only got one bite. We never even lost a fish first day. Second day, we whacked them pretty good. In an exciting turn of events, day two's third place team, Jason Doyen and Shane Turcott, inched their way into second place with a final total weight of 54 pounds. We had a consistent bite every day, and uh, we really thought going into this, 50 to 60 pounds would, uh, would win, but uh, we're pretty happy with how the day went. Very well run tournament, very professional, great people, lots of great volunteers. Can't say enough about it. Hope to come back here soon. What an incredible close to the 18th season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship. This event draws in the nation's highest skilled grassroots walleye anglers every year, giving them the opportunity to shine in the spotlight of national media attention. If you're interested in competing in the next championship, visit walleyefederation.com.